Welcome back to another episode of In Ohio Country Today. I'm Big Deanna Wilson, and this week our feature stories are from the Red Power Roundup in Springfield, Ohio. I want to thank Lee Clancher, award-winning author and publisher from Octane Press, for being with us. He had some great stories to tell about all the books that he's written for Red Tractors. Also, Ed Krantz, one of the many directors who helped put on this year's event. We'll have those feature stories and more this week in Ohio Country Today. Alan Davis, business owner, active farmer. No one knows farmers' needs better than Alan. Give him a call today at 419-738-7447 and talk about total farm protection and more. Alan Davis Insurance Agency is your solutions provider for auto, home, life, business, recreational, total farm protection and more. Call 419-738-7447. That's 419-738-7447. Your outdoor fun starts here at Dad's Toy Shop. See us today for all of your favorite remote control, land, air, and watercraft, and so much more. Dad's Toy Shop in downtown Wapakoneta is your one-stop shop for all of your hobby needs. It's a humble idea. Use a biological process to turn a plant into a power source. From that idea came the first Poet Refinery. One biorefinery in one town turned into 27 facilities in 27 towns, creating new local jobs, producing hundreds of millions of gallons of ethanol, and providing renewable products around the world. Suddenly, that one little idea seems a whole lot bigger. See the world differently with Poet. Welcome back to In Ohio Country today. Big Dan Wilson alongside Ali Clancher here at Red Power Roundup in beautiful Springfield, Ohio. Lee, we had the pleasure of interviewing you on our podcast. It's so nice to hook up with you here. Lee, of course, is a, an author of several red books, if you will. Lee, thanks again for joining us. Thanks for having me, Dan. It's great to be here at Red Power. Always good to talk to people about our books and uh, get out of the office a little bit. Fantastic. <laughs> Well, it's a great crowd here today. It's amazing how many people from all over the country and maybe some international flavor, if you will excuse the pun. It's just a great event here today. Why don't you talk a little bit about the event before we talk about your books? Absolutely. Uh, Red Power Roundup is the big show for red tractor enthusiasts, international in particular. Travels all over the country. It's hosted by a different club each year, and each year has a different flavor with a different featured tractor. It is the place to be each each summer if uh, what you love is red equipment. So talk about how many events you've been to. I mean, obviously you've been to a couple of these, right? Yeah, we've been going pretty much continuously since 2013. Wow. So we missed a couple during the last crazy couple of years, but uh, otherwise we come to them. It's our time to uh, show our products and, and really talk to people about what do they think, what do they like, see the machines. And now, since we've been to so many, it's just kind of like a family reunion. We get to see old friends. Well, talk about some of those old friends. There's a lot of people who are here and come to these events that you feature in your books. Talk about that relationship you have with some of these owners of the tractors and the vehicles that they bring here. Yeah, absolutely. And there's th one of the amazing things is there's a lot of former IH people that show up at these and a lot of really knowledgeable people. So a couple great examples. Uh, Vaughn Allen was here. Uh, Vaughn was an executive both with the IH tractors and the truck side. Very knowledgeable guy speaking. We learned a lot from Vaughn. I had the great experience of this time of um, we have a scout book and a, a man and his daughter walked up and they're pointing at the cover of the book and I assumed they owned a truck like the truck on the cover. No, the guy was a photographer at Hickory Hill, which was a IH's photo studio, and it was him in the picture. Wow. And so he started opening the book, found all these pictures, told us all these stories about um, what had happened in these pictures and that's really what we do with our books is, is we get to connect with these people find the great stories behind the machines behind the engineering and this place is just a ripe harvesting ground if you'll pardon the pun for uh, for that kind of stuff so what's neat too is that what you do and talking with the owners of these vehicles and the, this kind of equipment the preservation of history is what we're talking about here, and that's got to be a very gratifying thing for you, right? 
it, it's it's wonderful, and that's absolutely what it's about is is capturing their stories and learning and helping other people learn. And then uh, books are wonderful because you take that and you put it down and it's saved. So yeah, it, every time I come here, I learn something new, meet somebody who helps me understand something better. So it's it's a uh, Living library with your buddies, call it that. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Let's talk about your library. It's pretty extensive. Start with how you got started as far as with a Case IH and then where you're at today. Well, I got into this. Uh, I was a science writer in college um, and attracted a little attention. I won some awards there, and a local book publisher said, hey, do you want to write a book? I was 20-something years old. The answer is always yes. And they said it's about tractors. I'm like, really? And and I, it turned out I got an assignment to write a book on farm all tractors and very quickly realized that my background as a rural kid, gearhead, science guy, really fit. And I fell in love with the history and uh, wrote a couple of books back in the 90s. Uh, in 2010, I started, founded my own company, uh, bootstrapped it. I founded it with a few hundred bucks and um, was able to just keep selling books, publishing books, pouring the money back in the company. For five years, I didn't take a nickel, and we built a company. Now we've got uh, seven employees and 150 titles. Um, all built from scratch, and, and Red Tractors really played a role in that. Our first big hit uh, was this. This is the newest edition of it. It's a smaller book, but we this came out in 2013. This is brand new. This came out in 2022, the new edition of Red Tractors. And that book was able to sell in a volume that... You know, I was able to take a salary and hire some people, get an office. <laughs> we were up in a, a spare bedroom in my house in a garage for a while. We were all over. So, uh, you know, that's kind of how. And then we've evolved now. We've got uh, some of the hottest motorsports books in the country of the last two years were ours. A book called the Indie Split about the split between CART and IRL. Uh, and a book with Al Unser Jr. And, and those are books that are, are, are continuing to drive us. But, you know, Red got us here in many ways. So every time I get to be here, do something on Red, it, it means a lot to me. It's really cool, too, because it's more than just pictures and a description of the tractor. There is a lot more content that gets you behind the wheel, if you will. It gets you underneath the hood, if you will. A lot of, uh, when we're talking about descriptions, we're talking about uh, blueprints, we're talking about the history, we're talking about the purpose of these vehicles. So it's more than just a picture and a description, right? It, it is, it is. And I, I think, you know, I was really in college taken with what's called narrative nonfiction writing in a short that just means you write nonfiction in a way that it reads like fiction and the way stories are interesting is if it's an interesting story right. and you don't just yeah you sometimes you want specs but a lot of times you want to understand something and the way it imprints on your brain and stays if it's a good story mm. and there are so many good stories and tractors things like the Steiger brothers, two guys need a bigger tractor, so they build it in their garage and become an international leader. I mean, you can't make it up. It's wonderful. So telling stories is a really important thing for me from going way back to when I was 18 years old. So to be able to do that with this topic area, it's great. And it's Americana, too. It's all about American, uh, homegrown, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. There is so much, uh, you know, that... I mean, the leaders in tractor technology really were in the U.S., so it's yeah. very domestically based, yeah. Well, we were talking about the pictures, but I would be remiss if we didn't talk about the quality of these publications. The photography is absolutely phenomenal, isn't it? Yes, yes, and and I work really, really hard at that. Um, I spend a lot of time with lighting and studying and setups and all kinds of things. So we've done everything from building these big studios to I've really grown to using artificial light in the field. And uh, I'm working on another project now, and I'm kind of going old school, and let's just use natural light. So yeah. make, and I, I really was schooled in college as a travel and outdoor photographer. Yeah. So I was all about pretty. And so when I came to farm tractors, one of the cool things is they're outdoors on farm in beautiful settings. So all those kind of pieces 
came together to make my images. You know, it's really interesting, too. It's not about the pretty tractor out there, the one that's been uh, repurposed, if you will, or put together, you know, from scratch to be renewed. But you have some really great photographs of, of ones that, you know, may not be it may not be that perfect, and that's part of the history, isn't it? Absolutely. And a, 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 a good friend of mine once said that you know you can put pretty paint on something in three weeks, but it takes 60 years to get that patina. So I sometimes those original machines are are just fabulous. Yeah. Before we let you go, too, I want to talk a little bit about what you're doing with these publications and the books. A lot of people now are going to e-books. They're going online, but to have something tangible that you can hold on to there's really something special about that and we want to remind our viewers that that hasn't gone away right no print is still alive and well and when you say doing something and we do print first quality i've always believed that that if you're going to do print you do it right so if you know books and details you look at all kinds of little things i could bore you to death with they're they're well made and they last um I'd also like to say something we're doing with our line with Red Tractors, this is brand new, just coming out, it's called Revolutionary Red Tractors, and this book is designed to teach 8 to 12 year old kids about how technology changed the farm through farm technology. And the book, uh, the book each little section uh, deals with a kid and their parents and how this technology came on that farm and changed. And we think our sales force, everybody's really excited. They think there's a lot of kids that'll really react to this. And I just love that, and this is the first one in a new series, I just love that Red Tractors should be helping kids learn about the world, learn about science, technology, and math. Uh, it just uh, hits home for me. So Octane Press and the publications that you produce are more than just for the enthusiast or somebody who wants to know the history of tractors. It's fun for the entire family. And that's really a cool, cool addition. That's a great book there. If people want more information about what you do and where they could possibly catch up with you in the future, where do they go? OctanePress.com. You can get our books. Uh, we're also uh, working on an events page, so <laughs> this, when this runs, you should have that. You also can get our books anywhere books are sold. So. Yeah, and you got a great booth here. I know you're signing a lot. I know you're selling a lot, too. And that's something that people can at least order from you and talk to you. But if people want that kind of one-on-one -on -one, uh, interaction or maybe even to have a signed book, uh, that's easy to get, too, through that through that website and your uh, email address, right? Signed books, you have to go find me. <laughs> but you, you guys can find me. I will be at the Farm Progress Show in the Case IH booth. So you can find me there, and we'll be around. So uh, signed books, we just you have to see me to get them as how we do it um, but that makes it that much more special so oh wow well I can't wait to get mine signed <laughs> Lee Clancher has been our guest from Octane Press here at Red Power Roundup in beautiful Springfield Ohio Lee thanks again for joining us thanks so much Dan much appreciated and we'll be back with more in Ohio country today right after this Close captioning paid for in part by the following. Die Real Estate and Land Company specializes in farmland and recreational land throughout Ohio. A company for people who enjoy the rural lifestyle and looking to buy or sell their land. All of our land agents are members of the Realtors Land Institute and have extensive experience in farming and agricultural land business. At Die Real Estate and Land Company, We'll work with you to tailor fit a plan that works best for you, your family, and your investments. Our services include 1031 tax deferred exchanges, land brokerage, land auctions, and CMAs and valuations for estates and planning. We are Die Real Estate and Land Company. Call us today and visit our website at dierealestate.com. Die Real Estate and Land Company. We know the land business because we live it every day. St. Mary's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has award-winning vehicles for both on and off the farm. And our Ag Pack incentives give you a powerful package of farm and ranch discounts and incentives worth thousands of dollars absolutely free. Stop by and see Dave Hager today, your Ag Commercial Specialist, and ask about the vehicles, discounts, and incentives in the St. Mary's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Ag Pack. You get straight talk, real service, and the right price. St. Mary's Chrysler.
Your outdoor fun starts here at Dad's Toy Shop. See us today for all of your favorite remote control, land, air, and watercraft, and so much more. Dad's Toy Shop in downtown Wapakoneta is your one-stop shop for all of your hobby needs. Our farm department is committed to providing ag professionals the products, coverages, and peace of mind needed to run a successful operation. With our home office located in the heart of farm country, many of us have first-hand experience when it comes to farming, and we know how to take out the risk. Under one policy, we can provide total protection of your investment, from your home and barns, to your equipment and livestock. We also provide an outstanding equine coverage, from a homeowner with a single horse, to a professional breeder, and everything in between. Come join us and experience the Salina difference. Rodak and Midway Trailers are Ohio's premier Thunder Creek dealers for fuel trailers and death delivery systems. Thunder Creek offers versatile, reliable, and best of all legal transportation and handling for fuel and death systems. Let us know how our teams at Midway Trailers in Rodak can get you set up and ready any time of the year. For fuel and service trailers, economy trailers, service and lube trailers, double wall trailers, split tank trailers, bulk death trailers, and standalone death systems for trucks. Remember Rodok and Midway Trailers, Ohio's premier Thunder Creek dealer, with three locations to serve you in Delphus, St. Mary's, and Dayton. Welcome back to In Ohio Country today. Big Dan Wilson alongside Ed Krantz, and, and Ed is the director of this year's Red Power Roundup here in beautiful Springfield, Ohio. What a beautiful weekend you got here, Ed. Yeah, we ordered this weather special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're very pleased with the weather. We really are. Uh, I want to correct that I'm one of the directors, not, not right. the okay, director, right. but that's fine. Um, it's a major event for this fairgrounds. Uh, you've seen the fairgrounds and it was formerly an airport with lots of asphalt, so we've been able to line the, the tractors and exhibits and space them out so it's easy for people to be able to move around and see them. And that's our goal. We want people to be able to see them and yeah. not just drive by the front of them, but you'll, you'll see there's room to pa go through each one. Oh, it's unbelievable. The lineup is just fantastic. The amount of vehicles that are here, the equipment that is here, the diversity of the equipment that is here is just something to see. We always tell everybody, if you're a gearhead, whether you're screwing a, a, a nut on a, on a tractor or whether or not you're working on some kind of an engine, you're going to love an event like this, man. Yeah, yeah, and there's everything here. It isn't just tractors and trucks. There's parts. Yeah. There's accessories, there's clothing and t-shirts. <laughs> oh, and there's homemade ice cream. <laughs> Very yeah, popular food. concession on a day like this. Very popular. Well, listen, like you said, you can't do it alone. Let's talk about how many people are involved in bringing this event, this great event to Ohio. Once again, the last time we hooked up with your group was in Lima, Ohio, but yeah. bringing it back to Ohio is, is just terrific. But a lot of people behind the scenes, right? Yes, I, w I can't give you a number, but sure. I would be. I feel I'm safe in saying there are at least 100 people wow. within our club that have contributed something. Mm. Obviously, some more than others because they have a different skill set or they have a talent or a skill that, hey, we can do this. Yeah. And I'm talking, we have a member whose contribution to this, he's been in charge of trash. <laughs> and that's what he's done, does it well, yeah. saves us hiring somebody. And, you know, he's behind the scenes. And then you go right on up the ladder to the people who uh, Sherry Fisher designing and laying out the web pages. Oh, yeah. uh, Kevin and Ellen Paul, they have been irreplaceable in terms of belt buckles, the big thing here, uh, the toy tractors and toy truck that represent the feature tractor and feature truck here. Uh, I was speaking with Ellen, and she has sold every one of those tractors, wow. the Cubs, every toy tractor they're numbered serial numbered so on yeah. collector's items uh, you know those are higher profile but you also have to look at the people that's doing that are doing the parking back in the registration building my goodness those ladies sat back there from seven in the morning till as late as nine or ten at night so wow. you cannot say oh this is mine i you know we did this <laughs> you know it's everybody and if everybody didn't contribute their part if you let one part fall away it hurts the whole show and we're blessed to have a whole bunch of people wow. who have said, we're going to step up and do this, and they have. Wow. We've been working on this, literally working on it, for three to four years. Yeah. And, and that's what it takes to put together a successful program 
but um, none of it would be of any value were it not for the people who bring these tractors and bring these trucks oh, the and bring these cars. Yes. Yeah. The, even the military vehicles back here, uh, they took uh, some of the International Harvester cars built in the 1910 era out to the truck plant in Springfield. Yeah. And the truck plant people were very, very um, just accommodating and nice to us, and they were pleased to see them. So it, if you take something good like that, it grows within itself and more people get involved and that's what we're doing is trying to get people to see the value see unusual things and say you know I'd like to do something like that that's what we want so so Ed tell us about the relationship between International and Ohio something special here in Springfield right yes uh, it goes all the way back to 1880 one of the wow. reapers that were invented here called the Champion City Reaper um, Bushnell Glazer and Warder we're building them here in Springfield, yeah. and in 1902, they met with McCormick and Deering and uh, Milwaukee uh, uh, plow, uh, plow Works, I forget the exact name there. Okay. Five companies got together, and then in 1902, they formed the International Harvester Company. Yeah. And as a result of us being us, meaning the Springfield area, yeah. being involved in it, they began to produce things here. We had a strong industrial base, strong workforce here, and it's grown from there. And the original plant downtown, they just outgrew it. So they built the new one out on 68. Uh, it's a mammoth plant. Uh, they produce, over the years, they produced everything from bus chassis to semis to pickups to travel alls. <laughs> they're, um, they're currently, uh, I guess this is nothing to be secret or anything, uh, they have one line that's running Chevrolet uh, van, cutaway vans oh, wow. for Chevrolet and General Motors, wow. in addition to all the international Navistar things. Yeah. So the plant has been a big thing here. Um, they've worked with the community. They haven't just been a drop in, okay, let's say just make money and leave, but rather they have dropped in and they said, let's get involved in the community. Let's yeah. have, they let the group come out and tour. They gave them uh, commemorative things. Uh, they. They want to be a part of the community, and uh, that group uh, of leadership that's out there now, boy, they're really, uh, really willing and looking for ways to be a part of the community. And that, that's great to have a, a major employer, a major manufacturer who simply says, we're going to be a part of the community. We're just not going to be in it. We want to thank our friends at Apple Farm Service for today's broadcast here from the Red Power Roundup. Ed Krantz, one of many directors here at the 2022 Red Power Roundup in beautiful Springfield, Ohio. And we'll be back with more in Ohio country today right after this. Pushita Creek Steaks, naturally delicious, antibiotic and hormone free. From fresh grass and grain fed, free to roam cattle. Pushita Creek is a family owned and operated 210 acre free range ranch right here in Ohio. And we take Take the time to custom fit your order to exactly what you want. For steaks, roasts, hamburger, pet treats, gifts, freezer boxes, and much more, check us out on the web at PushitaCreekSteaks.com. That's PushitaCreekSteaks.com. Did you know that Apple Farm Service has carried New Holland for over 50 years? So when it comes time to purchase your next New Holland tractor, skid steer, hay tool, or other piece of equipment, trust the dealership with the experience and tools to serve you better. Apple Farm Service has over 40,000 in-stock New Holland parts and access to millions more. They have a full fleet of factory certified technicians and a seasoned sales team with years of running New Holland equipment. Trust your local Apple Farm Service with your New Holland equipment. Learn more at applefarmservice.com. Hi, it's Kent with Apple Farm Service here at Covington. I'm here with Greg, who's our regional sales manager for Sureco. And I thought we'd take a minute or two and explain what Sureco is and where you can get Sureco from and what makes Sureco a little bit unique. So, uh, Greg, what, I guess, what is Sureco? Sureco is a tarp company that manufactures tarp systems for agricultural as well as other uh, industries here in the states so okay yeah and and so we're a Sherco dealer we've been a Sherco dealer for quite a few years and uh, we carry them for the ag line so i guess greg when we say the ag line what all can you get Sherco tarps then for the ag line well basically grain carts gravity wagons uh fertilizer spreaders um and then we also offer products like the Drive Max that um, for the um, bin unloaders. So, cool, cool. And so there are options out there for tarps. When you're looking at tarps, 
So I guess what makes Sherco unique compared to some of the other companies that make tarps? Well, Sherco has uh, been in this business for decades. They use quality products. You've always got somebody you can go to. Sure, sure. Yeah, and then I know if you do the research on Sherco, they mention how they're they're tear resistant, they're weather resistant, they're UV resistant. They, they put a lot of te technology into it to make sure that your Sherco sure lasts, not just for years, but a lot of times for almost decades. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you come to Apple Farm Service, you can get yourself your tarps, your tarp kits. Um, and then if they want more information on Sherco, where, where can they go? They can go to our website, www.shur-co.com. Um, they can, of course, go straight to you guys and, and you can uh, either get with me or if you can't answer the question or, and I'll get you the information or get the information for your customers. Great. Well, we're talking with Greg, the regional sales manager here at uh, Covington location for Apple Farm Service, talking about Sherco and Sherco tarps. Thanks, Greg. You bet. Thank you. Your outdoor fun starts here at Dad's Toy Shop. See us today for all of your favorite remote control, land, air, and watercraft, and so much more. Dad's Toy Shop in downtown Wapakoneta is your one-stop shop for all of your hobby needs. Accurate, dependable, and easy to understand. That's been Great Plains' philosophy on drills since their origins in 1976. Whether you need the small 5-foot drill for your food plot or the massive 50-foot drill for record-setting planting, Great Plains has every size and type of drill you need. Alan Davis, business owner, active farmer. No one knows farmers' needs better than Alan. Give him a call today at 419-738-7447 and talk about total farm protection and more. Allen Davis Insurance Agency is your solutions provider for auto, home, life, business, recreational, total farm protection and more. Call 419-738-7447. That's 419-738-7447. Hey, that's going to do it for this week's edition of In Ohio Country Today. For more information, check us out on the web at inohiocountry.com. And don't forget to check out our podcast as well. That's inohiocountry.com. Have a good day, everybody.